hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'm going to be building a tic-tac-toe game in python for those who don't already know what tic-tac-toe is it's basically um a board game that you play mostly played by two people i'm going to try and show you how it is with a picture so these are basic examples of the tic-tac-toe game it's played by someone using the o and then the x if you have three of your your styles in line then you basically won that's what the tic-tac-toe game is i'm sure most of you already know what the tic-tac-toe game is so let's just get on with today's agenda so the thing is that when you start programming you would want to build a lot of things to get familiar with the new language that you've just learned and in today's video i'm going to be using python to try and build that simple tic-tac-toe game i will not make it any gui related i wouldn't be using any graphical user interface everything will be built based in the terminal so our board will be in the terminal we'll find a way to allow the user to input things and i think this video is going to be long so I'm, i might split it into two or three videos depending on how long the whole process is i don't want the video to be very long on the channel not a lot of people like watching long videos for those of you who don't already know me my name is paul and you can check out my twitter if you want to be in touch with me and to find out more about me for now let's just focus on the tutorial so i've got a folder opened up in vs code that is what we are going to be working in we wouldn't really be using um, multiple files so there's no there's really no need for me using you know a whole directory for the thing but i like to keep my things organized so i'm going to use it anyway so i'm going to create a file app.py in which we'll be working in now to start everything I'm just going to go straight ahead and create the board that we'll be working with. So I have my board and I'm actually going to use a two dimensional array to create the board. Because if you see the board from this picture, it has three rows and three columns. So I'm basically going to be using a two dimensional array to create the board. And initially I'm going to be filling it with dashes. Something like this would be a bit better. It would look much cleaner. So I have my first row, second row, and then the third row and in the first row i'm going to just fill it with a dash an underscore yeah an underscore will do and i'm basically just going to copy this and paste it here and here i'm also going to paste it here here so this is our board and i'm going to save the file after I've saved it, they've kind of just um, reorganized the thing for me due to the format that I'm using. Doesn't really matter. You've already seen the picture and you know how it will be like. So I'm actually going to design a game so that two people will be playing at the same time. It wouldn't be against the computer. It would be two people that will be playing against each other. And I'll let one person be represented with X and the other person will be represented with an O or a circle. So I'm going to go ahead and create a function that checks for a winner. So I'm going to define check winner. And anytime we are checking something, I'm going to be passing in the board as an argument because we need to be checking the board to see if there is a winner. Now, based on how the game is, for there to be a winner, it's either the three rules are all having the same value. So there will be X's in the first row, X's on the second row, or X's on the third row or the columns the three columns or the two diagonals so they are basically um one two three four five six seven eight there are eight possible ways to get a winner in the game and i'm going to be doing it manually so i'll actually write the code to check the equality of all of those all of those sections and for the first row that would be board and since it's a two-dimensional array i'm going to take the first row first column and this should be equal to, you know, board again. And that would be the first row, second column. And this should also be equal to board, first row, third column. But then all of this should not be equal to uh, an underscore. So that we know that you are not just, you know, 
starting the game and then all those things will be gone. Because obviously, because of how we've created the board, if you start the game and you check for a winner, there will definitely be a winner. So we have to make sure that it is not equal to an underscore. And this is how we are going to be checking the first row. So if, if this is true, if this expression here is true, would like to know the winner and be able to identify the winner. So I would first create a global variable called winner and I'm going to set this to none. So initially we don't have any winner. If you are worried about why I'm using capital letters to write the winner over here, it's simply because I want to go according to the pep8. The rules that guide how we write and name our variables in Python. For this one, since it is a constant uh, or something that is general for the whole program, I decided to use capital letters to write it. I hope you get that. Now, if this expression is true, then I want to set the winner to maybe just the first element or the first item over there. And the first item over here would either be an X or an O, depending on whoever is winning. Those are the only two things we are expecting. Now, I'm also going to create another variable over here, and I'm going to call that variable 1. I'm initially going to set it to false. The goal of this variable is for me to be able to identify whether someone has won or not. So anytime I check it, I'm going to be updating this one variable depending on the result. So as of now, if board is equal to this code, it means someone has won. So I'm going to set the one variable to true and then what i'm going to do is to go ahead copy this and paste it a few times so for the first one that's what we've checked for the second one we'll be checking the second rule so the second rule will be one over here the same columns one over here and one over here and we should also make sure that it is not equal to an underscore for the third one, for the third one, we'll be checking the third row. And this would be row number two, two, and this would also be two. For the fourth one, we'll be checking columns. We'll check the first column. So first row, first column, first row. So this one should rather be second col second row, first column. And this one would be third row. Sorry, this should be a one. And this should be a zero. So first row, first column. Second row, first column. Third row, first column. And for this one, we are going to do the same thing. Um, we are going to check the first row, but then the second column rather. And we are going to check the second row second column then we are going to check the third row second column after that we are going to check the the third row sorry after that we are going to check after that we are going to check the first row third column the second row third column and then we are going to check the third row, second, third column. The second row, third column. Sorry, the third row, third column. I don't know why I got that messed up. No, you have a lot of numbers over here, so it's kind of tricky. This is the part that you need to take your time and write the thing very well so that you know what you are doing. And also, um, now I, I need to check the diagonal. So I'll check the first row, first column. Now I have to check the second row, second column, and I have to check the third row, third column. And then that's for the leading diagonal. Then for the other way around, I'm going to be checking the first row, third column, the middle, which is second, second, and then the bottom left, which is the third row, but the first column rather. The winner should not be the person who is here. The winner should be, um, you know, this is 
zero zero. So this will give the winner as four, yeah, zero zero. And I'm just taking the first one so that it would make sense. This should be one zero. This should be two zero. For those of you wondering what I'm doing, I'm basically taking the first condition over here because the whether that place is an X or an O will determine the winner. Because obviously, if all of this is equal to the same thing, then if it is an X, then the whole row will be equal to an X. So it means that the X is the winner, something like that. So we have zero, and then this place we have zero because we have zero, zero over here. This place we have zero, one. That is good. Zero, two. So we have zero, two here. And then we have zero, zero here. And then we can have the zero, two here again. Doesn't really matter. We are okay with that. Um, I'm actually tempted to use an L if here so that it would only check it if the first one is not true. So I'm basically trying to manage resources. <laughs> you wouldn't do all the checks unless the initial one isn't true. And it's always good to add your comments. So I'm going to add an, a comment over here. This is basically us checking. Um, this is checking the second row. And over here, we are checking the third row. So we check third row. Over here, we are checking first column. And over here, we are checking second column. Check third column. Then we are going to check the leading diagonal. And finally, we are going to check the last diagonal, <laughs> the other diagonal. However, I want to call it basically just a comment to yourself. This game is not um, something that a lot of people are going to work on. So writing is like this is okay. I know I've not written a lot of code. I've not really gone into the game in about 20 minutes now. So you would be wondering when am I actually going to start the thing? But I want to take it very slow so that it would be for those who are just starting to program. They would get what I'm trying to achieve over here. So just to recap all that I've, I've done for this particular video, I created a board. I created a board using a two-dimensional list because two-dimensional lists are easier to, you know, picture and they are easier to work with in this kind of situations. And since the board is actually a two-dimensional you know, surface. You can consider it like that. It would be sensible to use a two-dimensional list. And after that, we created two, two global variables to help us know what is happening in the game. So we've set winner to none initially. So initially there is no winner. And then we've set the one option over here to force, saying that initially no one has won the game. So the first thing we've decided to do, the first part of the game we've decided to build is to check whether there is a winner based on the board, how the board is. So to do that, we first check the first row by basically, you know, using the two dimensional, um, you can call it a matrix, using the two dimensional lists that we have over there. So we check the first row and make sure that it is not just equal to an underscore since we started with an underscore. And after that, we check the second row, we check the third row, we check the fourth row. Sorry, I said fourth row. We check the second column, we check the third column, we check the leading diagonal, and we check the other diagonal. So we basically check all the possible, all the eight possible ways of winning. And if any of this is true, we set the global one variable to true, and then we set the variable winner to, you know, the person who is actually winning, depending on which thing we've decided to check all right guys that's it for this section of the video 
I thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy and you like to support the video, there are a few ways of doing that. The easiest one is to just like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. The second one is to share this video to your friends and all those who you think would be interested in this. I know this channel is new, but you can help support it in every way possible. I thank you all for watching. That's it. We are done for this section.